Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back to the next episode. So we're going to show highlights from a couple of matches in this one because I want to show you goals from the from the Euro 2. So today uh, in this match we played FC 20. Let's take a look at what happened. Robinson and Vera hooking up in the up top. Some good ball movement. Nice through ball and Lyolka, the new player, makes a big run from the outside, slots it home, and in the fifth minute, we take a 1-0 lead. It's late in the game here, holding on, and Radinov just stopped, and Masudi, who was a sub for them, got a free run onto the ball. Heidenreich probably should have done a better job coming out to get to that ball, but uh, we settled for a 1-1 draw in that one. We pick up $74,000 for the draw. They did finish our training facility upgrade, so we are now state-of-the-art there, which is what we were hoping for. And we set a new gate receipt of $50,000 in gate receipts. So that's good. We've got uh, one more. We've got one more group match in Belge. And we'll do that one, and then we'll come back for the Sheriff game. And uh, you can look at the scores and the goal scores here if you're interested. 2-0 loss to Obalon, 5-1 win over Zoria. Uh, good match there. And we're breaking in a new tactic. And unfortunately, uh, I don't know if we're going to stick with it since we drew, but uh, it does take Philip Camps off the field. So... Not sure I'm going to be a big fan of that because I'm desperate to keep him on the pitch. All right, we'll see you guys for some more uh, group stage highlights here in just a second. All right, here's the highlights from our second match against Belge. So they're in the red. They start off with the first highlight here in the first half, 26th minute. Tarasenko gets beaten, and then he just powers it past Heidenreich at the near post. Not a good goal to concede, so we're down 1-0. Starting to look questionable. Nice chest down to, by Radinov. Through ball to Vera, and Vera catches Nygaard off his line, puts it away. There's the equalizer just seconds after the first half. We jump ahead into the 72nd minute. Kamziuk chips it in. Back post, Carabella, and that makes it 2-1. And that's how it finishes up. So we get the victory. 13-8 uh, to 8 shot advantage, possession advantage as well in our favor. We, we only had a few on target, though. So uh, it could have it, it could have been so much better. We pick up $223,000 for the win. So that is good. And we will be back for the next match here in just a second, which will be another Euro Cup match. All right, we are back for today's match with Sheriff. Just want to catch you up on the games that we've gone through while we were playing the other Euro Cup highlight matches for you. Uh, so uh, we talked about Kaev, our lone loss on the season, 2-0, 5-1 over Zoria, the 1-1 draw with FC20. We then beat Carpati 2-0, Carlos Vera and Konstantin Carabella with the goals. A 3-2 win over Ingolitz Petrov. This was a huge win. We were down 2-0 at halftime. Uh, Yuri Simic came off the bench, uh, scored a second-half brace, including the equalizer in the 87th minute, and then Michael Robinson, his strike partner, got a game winner in the 93rd minute. Huge come-from-behind win. Then uh, we saw the Vels highlights, 2-1 win there. Maripol, 6-0 win. Carlos Vera with a hat trick. Dennis Mikhailiv with a goal. An own goal from Jose Domingos. And Yuri Simic again off the bench with another goal. And then we just beat uh, Tribus, I don't know, KK somebody or other. <laughs> it's one of those weird names that I don't even know. 4-2 win. Kuczynski scored on a penalty. Vera, Bidney both scored two minutes apart. And Yuri Simic, another goal. Taking a look at Simic, by the way, Vera has 10 goals in 17. Simic has five in 13 matches, two starts. 
he's not a bad player. It's just he's I want camps playing, but he has really been making a push. Let's see what his uh what his actual ratings look like. Oh, you know, I don't have it on my uh, on my form here. Uh it's goals per per 90, assist per 90. Yeah, he don't, I don't have go Well, this is actually from Loki Doki. He doesn't have goals per 90 in there, but he's obviously scoring at a really good clip. So, I don't know. Maybe we need to play him. I mean, he's valued at 10 and a quarter million, which is more than Camps or Robinson. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, Robinson only four goals. Maybe so. Maybe so. All right, we're going to go with Vera and Robinson up top. Camps at number 10. Kuczynski and Lyoka on the wings. Kamziak in the mid. Stoika, Radinov, Bidney, Yarmolenko on the back line, and Heidenreich in the net. So that is the side we're going to go with. All right, we are in the white kits. Sheriff are in the yellow. And, all right, well, it's always good when the kickoff highlight ends abruptly with the ball barely crossing the midfield line. <laughs> There's Lyoka. So this is this might be your first look at Lyoka, right? Oh, nice poke ahead pass to Robinson. Laid back to Lyoka. Squared in. Oh, and they just got a foot on it. But that, that defensive foot, it like comes out of nowhere. What is the deal? FC 20 beating Vels 1-0 with an early goal. Ball went over the net for a goal kick. And we are back with a highlight for Sheriff. Stoika cannot get his head on that. But there's a good clearance out. Robinson's going to run onto it. He's got one man in front of him. Oh, and he puts the shot, makes the keeper put hands on it. A lot of, uh, I'm kind of wondering about this club if there, uh, there's a lot of, a lot of medical uh, personnel over there. Three medical trucks? Jeez. I find that a little odd. Oh, the keeper came out and cleared it with his foot. What is that? And then... I don't know. I'm not even going to try that name with the umlauts and everything on it. The keeper flubbed the ball. Robinson is there to put the tap in away for his fifth of the season. And that spots us out to a 1-0 lead. Thought the keeper had that. Yeah, he just, he just flubbed it. It's like he pushed it away and didn't try to catch it. I think he was going fearful. Maybe he was going into the goal. Possibly. There's a square in. Robinson's there. His second goal in three minutes. And we are out to a two. Nothing lead. Let's give some praise here in the early going. And we come right back to a kickoff highlight. I don't know how good this team Sheriff is, but this is one of those things when you come right back after a goal, they could be opening up a little bit more, trying to push for a goal to get back into it. And it could be something that we are going to start being able to take advantage of. I'd like to see us move the ball out of here. Okay, there's a route one. Vera gets tripped a little bit, but beats the keeper to the post. Looks like he rounded him a little bit. And uh, that is another goal. Three goals in a short span. Two goals, two minutes apart. Three goals, three minutes apart. And this is quickly turning into a goal fest. Lyoka finds himself on the wrong side of the pitch after tracking that one down. 
And there he is making his way back across. Over the top, it's Robinson, and he puts it in, and we've got a fourth looking for an offsides. VAR is going to check it. Oh, and it's disallowed. That was a that was a really quick through pass. So I honestly didn't see it, and they didn't show as a highlight, which makes me question the the validity of the uh, call there. If you guys rewind it and see if he was offside, let me know in the comments. Pachinski into the box, squared in, and Vera took a turn on it, blocked away. And t FC20 is up 3-1 over Velge. Yarmolenko is uh, way out of position. Oh, my goodness. What the? He just went ass over tea kettle. Oh, cleared away. That was an opportunity. Come on, boys. Kamjik. Oh, they've made it 4-1. And they're going to the VAR. Looks like they're looking for a penalty. There was an appeal for a push. So he's going to jog over to the little television. Put his head under the, under the blanket. And what's the call going to be? Because I couldn't tell. And they do award a penalty. Who's going to take it? I'm thinking it, yeah, Robinson's going for his hat trick. Oh, keeper did not even move. There's a hat trick for Robinson. Seventh goal of the season. And you know what? Let's bring on Yuri Simic. I waited till he had the hat trick, but there's no sense in risking injury at 4-0, right? I think that's the smart play here, guys. For all of you that are starting to type in the comment box. He got his hat trick. Oh, Mend Mendocino. Nice, nice save by Heidenreich. So, I mean, you know, we're just trying to keep him from getting injured. We waited for the hat trick. He got it. We took him off. Here's Yuri Simic. Whoa, Heidenreich comes out, and there was almost a collision there. I was going to do a shout, but I'm going to wait. Into the wall. That's going to leave a mark. And that gets us to the half. 18 shots, 12 on target, 3.16 on the XG. We are playing well. Uh, I want to point the finger. Don't get complacent. And there's a Simic highlight. He kicks the ball off. <laughs> Layuka. Up into the zone. He got, a, he got a good square in right on the line. Kamjik cannot cover his guy, but that does force the pass back. And that gives our defense some time to reset there. And that ball goes out of play. Stoika watches it just dribble off the field. I'm going to drop back to balanced as well, just to rest our players a little bit. Kamjik. Oh, look at that pass into Lyoka. There's a shot from the edge of the box. Alexander Yarmolenko, his first of the season, and that makes it 5-0 Volin. Their midfielder's playing a 5-9. He's getting toasted today. That goes into the side of the netting. That was probably the closest that they've come. I think Kaczynski's going to need to come off here. 
I just want to make sure we don't have an injury or anything when I'm ready to pull him off. Stoika. There's Camps. Good square. Oh, look at that through ball. Vera. All right, let's go ahead and make that sub. Kuczynski. I don't have anybody over there, huh? I'm going to bring Carabella on. Carabella and Lyuka will swap out. And I think we're going to make him an inverted winger on that side. Since he's playing on his off foot. Now, he doesn't play the left, but <clears throat> I think if you can play right, you should be able to play left. And if you can't, you're probably... Oh, Bidney goes down hard. If you can't play the other side, oh, Sergey Martin puts one in. Hey, fair play to him. Not giving up. And that was a good run. Look at that. He played the ball back and then made a nice run off of Radinov. But I think we are going to uh, ask him to focus. See if we can get anything from there. Kamzyuk. Back to Bidney. Into some space. There's a through ball. Lyuka runs onto it. There's a square. Oh, that was a little weak effort by Carabella. Needed to do a little better than that. Uh, Vera, that was close. That was close. So kind of disappointing today, um, personal wise. So one of our one of our family traditions that we've had with our kids. If you're not in the states, you may not have this. Eey. Ouch. Um, we have these dollar stores here where everything costs like a buck or around a dollar. And it's little cheap knickknack type stuff. It's nothing fancy. Um, you know, really cheap, you know, made in China toys and, you know, stuff like that. But, you know, older books, you know, paperbacks, some hardbacks that are on, you know, that have been out for, you know, three or four years, things like that. So that's kind of been our thing is we, you know, when our, when our three kids were very young, when they were little, uh, we would take them and they would have a budget. They would have, you know, like $3 and they would be able to. There's a goal, 12th by Carlos Bira. And we would let them go and pick out whatever they wanted. And they did Chris, their own Christmas shopping. Uh, so, you know, so I have a, a girl and two boys. They're, they're all in their 20s now. But uh, we have done this every year. And so... You know, they would go and buy a toy for their, you know, for their brother and sister. And then for me and my wife, they would buy something for us. And, you know, they had three or four dollars, you know, to buy, you know, just little, little tiny things. And then we would have them come home and wrap their, you know, once they were old enough, you know, they would wrap their own gift and, you know, they were grown up. And so that was one of our family traditions. We've never missed a year. And uh, so with my daughter being quarantined through today, uh, I think she comes out today's her last day in quarantine. Uh, but then my son got tested the other day and we're waiting to see his test results. And then I woke up not feeling so good this morning. And, uh, oh, that's that's not good. I am going to berate the team on that one. So this will be the first year in two in over two de in two decades basically that we haven't done our family uh, you know our little family tradition. So it's uh, you know it's a little sad, but you know it is what it is. I mean you know who do I want to bring in and give some game time? Mikolev, he could actually play that number ten. Let's bring him on for. Let's rest Vera. Again, I don't get the extra subs because this is a cup match. So we're going to end up with two wins and a draw. So seven points after our first leg of 
cup matches here. I haven't looked at the table. I, I have no, I mean, I know, I know what FC 20 is doing today. Oh, well, there we go. So we're on seven points. So we're in good shape to get promoted to the next, uh, to the knockouts. That'll be good. I think we got like $78,000 for the draw, but it was a good chunk of change, 200000 maybe for the win. And there is the full-time whistle. 6-2 to two victory, 29 shots, 17 on target. A good win, boys. Well done. So I feel better that we had the draw with FC20. I think that that shows a very good thing. Yeah, 223000 for the win. So we've picked up a cool half a million dollars for two wins. That's nice. Three goals for Robinson. That's definitely getting an arm around him. We drew Lviv in the second round of the Ukrainian Cup. I don't think I'm going to worry about that. I don't even think we need to see the highlights from Sheriff. So I think we come back for, we certainly come back for FC20. Dynamo Kiev is third. So let's look at the Dynamo highlights. We'll play FC20, and then that'll end out the, uh, you know, going into the winter break. The winter, that, uh, <laughs> that long of a winter break is just, a, you know, I'm not used to that, um, not living here. I mean, today's a cold day. It was literally in the 30s today, Fahrenheit, and that's freezing here. I mean, that's very cold because we could easily be in the 80s or 90s Fahrenheit uh, here tomorrow if, <laughs> you know, uh, but we do, the you know, cold front just came in yesterday. So you know, we, I actually like this time of year where it does get cold because anything under 80 is, is pretty cool weather for us. But anyway, let's just kind of scroll back here. Really good start to the season. I think I'm, 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 I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. What's the board have to say? We've got an A grade. Delighted. Transfers, eh, everything else is good. But again, Tarasenko, Mazarenko's performances, and the you know all the transfer stuff. Every player I've sold, they've been on, they've been critical about. So that is what it is. All right, guys, we'll hit the like button, subscribe if you're new or if you haven't done it yet. What are you waiting for? Help a brother out, man. All right, we'll see you guys next episode. Have a good one. And uh, if I don't get the episode out, I'm thinking it'll come out. But just in case, Happy New Year to everybody. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye.